Hello, class. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. Thank you. It's extra hot today. That's true. <laughs> Where's my camera? Let me see. Where's my beautiful face? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there's beautiful me. All right, so how are you? How was your day today? Hot, but it's it it has been cool. It has been a good day actually. Really? It's been cold? Cool, cool. Sorry. Oh cool, so, okay. Sorry, sorry. What I the last time you told me that I should say cool. Yes, cool. Cool, cool. everything is all of... right. I'm sorry. Cool is a version of like fresco. Fresco. Ah, okay. So cold is frio. Ah, okay. Got it. So when people say it's cool, like actually we use it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, so people that doesn't speak English, they use hey como estás, que anda, todo cool. Oh yeah, because so it's, it's the same, like fresco. So if we yes, mm -hmm. ah, it's okay. slang, it's caliche, slang. Ah, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all cool. All cool. All right, nice. What happened yesterday? You, you uh, I didn't see you in class. Yep, I have. I've been very busy uh, the last few days with a lot of work. So yeah. To be focused on what I was doing, I had to 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 not join the class. So yeah, okay. I had a lot of work. Hey, work is good. Yep. Okay, let me see who else is in class today. There's Anna. There's Isaias, there's Rafael, and David. Can you all hear me? Yes, the chair. Hello. Good evening. Yes, good yes, evening. All right, good. Yes, you can hear me then. Man, I don't know why it's very hot today. And I am drinking coffee. Nah. <laughs> yeah. And to yeah, avoid the the temperature, the key is to drink coffee, a cup of coffee. And it works, believe it, it or not. No, why? I can't believe it. Yeah, uh, try it. <laughs> I, I could drink coffee. I could drink coffee in, in the desert, man. I I need coffee no. always. Mm -hmm. No, but, but I can't believe that Anna says it works. How is that going to work? Because it's hot and... It's gonna get inside inside your your stomach, so you are gonna be hot outside and it and inside. I don't know why, how, what is the sign behind really? that? It works. <laughs> yes, people okay. say that. People say it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I ra I would rather a beer. Actually, today I went to the supermarket and the Stellar toys. Those were in offer, so I was oh, but, <laughs> but now I avoid it. The I avoid Stellas? drinking Stellas, yeah. Beer? I really like that that beer. Oh, okay. My favorite beer is Reya. Yeah, of course. And have you ever? I mean, cheap beer, <laughs> uh, national, national beer, national, like exactly. Reya. And um, there's one called I think I think it's from Guatemala. It's called Cabro. It's good. Really. No, I haven't. I haven't tasted it, that one. It's it's similar to Regia, strong. Mm, but you good. know which beer I really, really recommend to you? It's um Presidente. That's my favorite beer. Presidente. I have seen that one, but I haven't it's tasted it. It's good. It's from the Dominican Republic. It's yeah, it's delicious. It's the it's my favorite. Really? Yes. It's delicious. It's a taste that you don't know how it tastes. It's a Dominican Republic beer. 
He's the best. Mm -hmm. He's a strong, he's soft. No. What, is, what kind of beer is? It's it's strange because when you drink it, it's strong, but when you swallow, it's good. I mean, it's the yeah. effect is good. Exactly. Nice. It's not it, well, in my case, I when I uh, taste it and I drank it, it was mm, just two of them. And you know, in the Dominican Republic, there are two sides. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I don't know why, because there is like a public policy that you cannot drink in public streets and stuff like that. So they give you in a, like a paper uh, paper uh, bag. Bag. It puts you all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really so funny. Once nice. you land in the airport, yes, you can. You want, you're inside the airport, but they also give you the bottle in in a paper bag. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. I have to taste it. They don't sell it here. I don't know why. And it's different when you drink it from the from the bottle that on the... Uh, oh, I got, I'm sorry. They can't. Yeah. The, they can't. I'm sorry, but that was my dog. <laughs> 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 that is the okay. lead. Resident, it's delicious. It's yeah. Try it next time. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I'll try. But All actually, right. the beers mm -hmm. uh, is very expensive. Uh, como, how do you say hoy en día? I know the word, but I I don't remember. Nowadays. Nowadays. Nowadays, nowadays the beer are so expensive. I remember that like one or two years ago, the Stella used to be like uh three per three dollars. Actually, one day I purchased them three per two point five. So now it is one point seventy five. And if you go to a bar, it, it, every beer is no 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 less than one point five. 1.5, $2, $3, so... That's true. Yeah. But you know you, you know one thing I don't understand is how can people drink golden light? <laughs> and, yeah. and there's a golden light extra. Yeah. It's like, it's so like, it's, oh, my God. It's, it's like there is a soda, like, hay una soda que no tiene sabor. Mm. Uh, so it's like that. One day... I, I I taste the the golden extra and no I can't. You know I I don't really like beer that much, but uh, I mean I like beer of course, but it's for liquor. It's not my preferred drink. I like I like I like liquor, but oh. when I do when I do drink beer, I like I like Regia and 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 Presidente or Cabro. But um, I remember many many years ago I was there was no option, so I had to drink Golden Light. You know, and I drank one, it was ugly, but there, it was Christmas, so there was nothing else. And when I look, I had 15 beers I drank and no effect. And I said, no, this is... <laughs> Desperdicio. <laughs> Wasting your money, your time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> 15, <laughs> my goodness. Well, when I, mean, I, I drink a very one with the meal and i eat drink eat it's like now now what i do is i drink tequila and beer mm. but um, a mexican person taught me that because if you go to a reunion or a party or something the problem that when you drink tequila what well, a beer you can drink it in 15 20 minutes you can have it and drink it but tequila is only one shot one second, two seconds, it's all you need. And you can't wait 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, maybe you have three or four shots. That's why people get drunk very quick. So this Mexican friend, he told me, drink beer. I'm like, no, man, mix tequila and beer. No. Take a shot of tequila and then enjoy your beer. And then 20, 30 minutes later, take another shot of, of tequila. And enjoy the beer. So the beer is only to calm down the process. <laughs> mm -hmm. So maybe I drink three beers and um, half a bottle of, a little bottle of tequila, and I'm good. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. 
but I don't drink 10, 10, 20 beers and tequila. That's crazy. Yeah. I think that that I think that 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 is not a reason. That is one of the reasons that I don't uh, drink liquor like tequila, vodka, or stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. for me, when I drink a beer, I like to to drink with with friends or in a meeting with friends or family. Well, the ones that likes to drink. But if I drink uh, liquor, I'm gonna get drunk very fast. So yeah. I think that I am not gonna enjoy it. And if I drink a beer, I th I think that I like you said, it takes like uh, 10 or 15 minutes and you are there with the, with, your, with the people that you are enjoying, talking, mm -hmm. joking and stuff like that. So you enjoy yes. it. So myself, I can't. I can drink alcohol uh, like like tequila, whiskey or stuff like that because I know that I'm not drunk very fast. And Then do that, do that. Drink tequila, but drink beer with... People yeah, will think good. you're crazy. People will think you're crazy, but they don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and take it easy. I'm, I drink three beers the most, and 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 the, the shots of tequila, and I'm okay. It's like, oh, okay, enough for me. Mm. Yeah. All right, um, yeah. So, you know, one thing I don't understand is champagne. How I? Why do people like that? That's ugly. Yeah, I think that. Just once I taste uh, champagne, but I don't remember what. What is that? It's it's like soda with no flavor. Really? And do mm. you feel the alcohol? No, you just feel. Mm. You just feel the bubbles. Mm. But at the end, you get drunk with champagne. No, I mean, I've only had one cup or, you know, in, in a party or in a, in a, usually in weddings. Yeah, exactly. But it's expensive, right? It's not that cheaper. Yeah. The, mm. I mean, I mean, like if you compare a, a bottle of champagne and I don't know, maybe tequila or vodka, it's, it's more expensive, the champagne, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. You know, um, Messi plays today, and it's funny because when, when he plays, all the Messi haters, oh, El Nano plays today, another game paid. <laughs> oh, my God, those people are sick. You know, <laughs> comprado. It's almost one year since Argentina won the World Cup, and they are still crying. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Uh a soccer fan but what i have seen is that messi is very humble right yes yeah i have seen a few a few news about him i have i have read his biography do you know why and, do you know that when he makes a goal he he crosses himself and he kisses the sky he always oh. looks up and kisses the sky do you know why i could believe that he's a christian person but Yes, but no, actually, those kisses are for his grandmother, who's dead. Oh, really? Because when he was little, he had a problem that he, you know, he was very little. He couldn't grow with the hormones. So no kids wanted to play with him. Nice. You know, the, you know, the typical little kids. No, no. And then I don't know. You know. So his grandmother was always fighting. Hey, let my grandson play. Hey, play with my son. She was very supportive so unfortunately she died before she saw him famous mm. that's why every goal he makes he dedicates it to her oh mm -hmm. it's interesting it's cool it's not it's a good story yeah all right class do you see my screen question one yes all right, this is what we were doing yesterday. Remember, we were practicing. We were practicing about the questions and how you will be graded. Let's see the next video. It says independent questions one. Please listen carefully, then you may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. 
Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Please listen carefully. Then you may begin to prepare the response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. You must record. Okay, this is how the exam will be. Your answer, please record your answer and send it to your teacher in order for him to grade your work. I was about to ask you how to record that. <laughs> Well, it's remember, a, remember that this is a, this is an example of how it's going to be. So I don't think you can record. I don't know why, but, but it gives the time. Listen it. Yes. It oh, does. really? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe to make it. But do you know? Do you know? Um, this is a good page to record. A look, if you ever want to hear yourself. Uh -huh. Have you ever used Vukaru? Mm -mm. First time. Watch. Mm -hmm. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. Did you hear that? No. No. <laughs> you, you didn't hear my recording? No. Oh, I did. You did? Yeah, it said, hello, one, two, three. Hello, uh -huh. one, two, three. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I did. So, yeah, you know, I like this Vukaru because it's very simple. You don't have to click here, then download. And then, and then. For example, look, this is my recording. If I like it, I save it. Saving, download. And here I download it wherever I want, you know, or I just copy the link. Watch. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Where are you? Here's the link. Tell me if you hear it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I sent it two times. Do you want me to send you the link for Vukaru? Yes, please. Oh, if it's your recording, I guess I will. Oh no, here it is with your recording. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Here, here's the link. Vukaru oh, .com. Hello. oh, I hear it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And that's the link if you want to practice, if you want to record yourself and listen to yourself. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know some, um, some. Call centers, they ask you for that. You know, when you apply online, mm -hmm. they tell oh. you, can you please send us a, an audio message of telling us about yourself, speak for one minute. Mm -hmm. What I would recommend you, send a bukaru. Ah, okay. Yeah, it looks so simple. Mm -hmm. It's not complicated. It's not. All right, let's listen to the audio. Fully. Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Okay, we're not going to wait. <laughs> so... What the audio said is, some research has indicated that pets are important. Please for... begin speaking after the beep. Yeah. So it's suppose we need to record and send you this. This is the homework. Yes, but in the exam, this is how, this is what they're going to ask you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it says, no, 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 this is really not a homework. This is just everything we're doing is a sample of how uh, TOEFL is going to be. Ah, okay. We don't need to upload anything because... No, no. Okay. It's a, it's the platform just shows 75%? Yeah. No, no, don't worry. Don't You don't need to send it. Just... But oh. if you want to practice, if you want to listen, use the no. Vukaru if you want to listen <laughs> to yourself. So, for example, it says, okay, take... Um, so, listen, please listen carefully. Then you may begin to prepare your answer. So... Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. Let's do Dennis today. Dennis, do you understand the question? I'm trying to understand it. Okay, look, it's okay. Read it again. 
Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. Okay. Yeah, I understand it. All right. So go ahead. Let's do... Go ahead. Give me your answer. You have 45 seconds. I'm not going to count, but, you know. But okay. try to do it in 45 seconds. Let's see if you can. Go ahead. In class, let's listen to him, and we will evaluate if he was correct or not. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm I'm agree, uh, with the point of view that uh, pets are important for for a person mental health. I think that what I have seen, in, in my experience, is that if you have a pet, you are not gonna feel alone. They are gonna share love with you. So everybody is looking to feel company, to feel that they are loved. And with people with mental health, it's not that different than, than people with a good health, with a good mental health. So they always need to feel that they are loved. So uh, pets do that, you know, uh, a dog or a cat, uh, love unconditional. I think that people that have pets, they feel that the pets love them unconditionally. Okay. So that's going to help. Okay, thank you. All okay. right, class. Um, what do you think? Do you it think? Very you... Good. Yes. Uh... Dennis, what we're doing is we were doing this yesterday. Everybody was answering a question and then everybody was correcting. And uh, remember that what the um, the evaluation is going to be on is, is going to be on the delivery on the um, and what else? On the fluency. So what do you think you could change? in Dennis' answers? Or what should Dennis change in his answer? I don't know if you don't want to participate or I don't know if you can listen to me, so. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, we can hear okay. you. Okay, so you don't want to participate, it's fine. Dennis, what I recommend to you, you said love too many times. We understood the love. Okay, include details, yeah. Your point of view, you, 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 you did it very good. You, you included details, but you didn't give examples. And remember, I told the class yesterday that if you don't have an example, invent one. Say, okay. hey, when I was a little kid, I was terrible. And my mother bought me a dog, and that helped me a lot. Good, there's your example. Yes? So remember, right. most of all, Dennis, the people, when you take the exam, what they will be listening to is how you deliver, your pace, and if you really paid attention to the question. Because uh, let me give you an example. Yesterday, we had questions like, can you tell me about a special moment in your life, for example? And maybe the answer was, oh, a special moment in my life was when I used to play with my friends. It was nice because we had fun. You know, we didn't worry about anything. And we played all day. We played in the rain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The answer was good, but it was really not an answer to my question. Because you never mentioned that special moment. 
And for that, the TOEFL people can give you that answer wrong. Even though your idea, you were in the right place, but you didn't listen to the question very well. Okay, so this is this is this is what you need to watch out for. Okay, well, may I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. What do you think about my fluency and my grammar? In, yeah, in 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 the example. Okay, one thing I do understand is that you were nervous and you were trying to say many things at once. Mm -hmm. But I did understand every word you said. Um, hold on, let me... Um, in the class yesterday, what I recommend to you, when instead of saying a lot of um, um, and um, 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 use connectors. Use so and... Because of that, you know, use connectors. Okay. But other than that, it was good. Cool. In my opinion, it was a very nice answer. But I don't, you know, it's not that I want to be rude, but the people from TOEFL are rude. <laughs> they will say yes, but that's not what, that's not my question. That's why it's wrong. And you're, oh, man. So don't, don't get too personal. Just give them what they want. So for, for example, here it says, please listen carefully. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. You must record your answer and send it to the teacher in order for him to, in order for him or her to grade your work. Okay, so you don't have to send it. We could all just listen to it right now. Hold on. Two. Please listen carefully. If you could donate a large amount of money for scientific or medical research, how would you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need of more research. Explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Okay, Claudia Marcela. Yes. Already, okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. Um, if I could donate a Begin large amount of money after the beep. Sorry. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. If I could donate donate a large amount of money, I will donate about uh, investigate about cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, well, because uh, nowadays I think is the most important uh, illness in the world because a lot of people uh, have that uh, ill and besides that I really think uh, there's a lot of things that human beings doesn't know about uh, about how to take care of that that illness and okay well and I think it's very important. Okay. Thank you. Now, remember, you only okay. have 45 seconds. All right? Okay, okay. Okay, this was a very good example. Okay, class. Um, remember, Claudia, everything we're going to do right now is constructive feedback. Yeah. Okay. All right, class. Was she a was she in the right in the right <laughs> onda? Was she there? What do you think? I'm sorry. What do, you think, I, I can't... What, what do you think about her answer according to to what the... Uh, did she say where she was going to donate? Um. Yeah, I, I think so. She said that she would like to donate that money to use it for cancer investigation. So I think that that answered the question, right? Okay, okay good. So... What did she do? What What would you change in that answer? Mm. Jose Wilfredo, what would you change in her answer? To be honest, teacher, I don't pay attention. I didn't pay, pay attention, attention, but okay. because I work. 
Oh, okay, 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 no worries. Okay, no worries. Yep. David Samuel, I haven't heard you speak today. I think that, that she needs to explain how uh, her money can uh, make a difference yes. in the field of the researching. Exactly, Claudia. Claudia, I totally understand your point, but you, you spoke more about cancer and you didn't speak what your money, look at the last part, explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. Okay. And I understand what you were doing. You know, I would like to donate to cancer, but then you dedicated to speak about cancer. Honestly, I, I didn't know what am I have to do no, this, no, no. To stay I, in that moment. I understand, but now when 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 you when you take the TOEFL exam and and you hear this, ima imagine there's going to be a different question, but you you have to hear this carefully. You go, oh, I remember this in class. I have to really listen to it and not give my own answer. I think your answer is fine, but according to the, you know, and it's true, you did not explain how your money could make a difference. In fact, it doesn't even ask you why you would donate to that charity. If you notice, it says, how would you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need of more research. Explain how your money could make a difference. So this was a tricky question because I imagine everybody would answer, yeah, I would donate to cancer because it's a terrible disease. And I know many people and many people in my family who have died from that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not what they want me to explain. They want me to explain an important area and how my money could make a difference. So you could say something like, how would you want your money to be used? Okay, um, so this would be my answer. If I could donate a large amount of money to a scientific medical research, it would be to cancer, especially cancer for women, breast cancer. I think my money, I, I think a large donation could make a very big difference here because the a scientist will have more resources that they need to get to their goals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I, I, you see, I answered, how would you want the money to be used in cancer? One important area or need for me is cancer in general, pero como decía, one important area, it was very specific. I said breast cancer, cancer de mama. And explain how your money could make a difference. What I said was, if I donate a large amount of money to this, to the, the scientists, we'll have more, more um, tools to use to get the results. Okay, do you understand, Claudia? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. You see, so nada que ver con, con uh, you, you kind of understood, Claudia, why, why would you choose that, that um, research? Hey, yo también hubiera dicho lo mismo. I would donate to ca cancer because it's terrible. My father, my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, everybody has died from cancer. I think maybe I will die from cancer. I mean... <laughs> Etc., etc., etc. Ya me salgo del tema. Okay. So, do you understand, class? Remember, yes, sir. Remember, TOEFL is not your friend. They want to get you. You could be very happy with your answer and say, Yeah, I spoke right. I spoke fast. I didn't make a mistake, etc., etc., etc. But my answer was not what they were, what they wanted, you know, so. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay. 
And remember the tip I always tell you? What is one important thing before you answer a question? Or before you do a, a listening or watch a video? What is something very important? Read the question. It was just know what are they asking you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Know what they want you to do in this exercise. So here it says, this, describe a skill you have that will be important in your success in the modern world and explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. Take 15 seconds to think. Okay, so let's hear this. Please listen carefully. Describe a skill you have that will be important for your success in the modern world and explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. All right, so let's do Lisette, are you there? Rodrigo Antonio, are you there? <laughs> you are the only person I know that's definitely not there. Sulma, Carla, Ana, Ana, Ana Garcia, Diego. You see, class, I mentioned everybody's name and nobody answers me. So maybe they're not paying attention to the class. But I participate. No, no, yesterday? I said I said Ana Garcia. No, yes, but you were active. Oh, okay. You told me. So yeah, mm -hmm. of, yeah, you didn't have the camera, but you were active, and I, and I know that you were active. But this is what I'm telling. This is TOEFL. This is more difficult. Mm -hmm. So only, only, really, really, I recommend you this. This is like, um, if you think that only listening to the class, you will learn, ah, I just needed to learn one thing. That's not, really, you're not going to learn that much. Hmm. I understand if maybe, like I said, maybe you are sick, maybe you have a bad connection, maybe you are working, but at least try to participate in something. Rafael Antonio, so describe a skill that you have that will be important for your success in the modern world and explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. Now, one thing remember, when it says skill, it doesn't have to be something like, wow, a skill can be cooking. But you just give them the answer they want to hear. Well, so, Tell me when you're ready. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Uh, Go. To me, it is um, important uh, to to take my 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 goals uh, uh, in the modern modern world and uh, have a. Uh, um uh, a career and Sorry, our okay, uh, Rafael, you finished. 
It's okay. It's okay. But now listen, listen to the feedback. Okay. Was Rafael, is his answer correct? Class? Uh, I think that no, because he didn't complete okay, but the idea. Yes. Remember, you are TOEFL. <laughs> You are grading TOEFL, not not you personally. If if this was a TOEFL, if you're a TOEFL instructor, what would do you think from one to ten? How many points would you give him, and why? I guess like two or three. Yeah, why? Because he didn't complete the idea. He didn't mention. He didn't explain what the skill is important. He didn't include detail. He didn't uh, share example to mm -hmm. support the explanation. Yes. So I think that uh, it well, uh, Toffel is not gonna gonna understand. But in this case, he didn't have enough time to prepare. So okay, okay. But you see, Rafael. Yes, that's true, Rafael. You were talking about the importance of a skill. Correct. And it never says here, tell me why that is important. It told you, describe a skill that you have. Do you have a skill, Rafael? Uh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a skill? Everybody has skills, many yeah. skills. What is your skill? Well, I, 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 um, I like uh, communicating no, with I, the I, people. I like, no, that's not a skill. Tell me a skill that you have. A skill is an ability. Uh, I, I, Rafael, you have to listen to the okay. question. I, I didn't, I didn't ask you what do you like. I said, tell me a skill, a skill that you have. I can drive. I can swim. If I don't know, imagine you're a doctor. I can operate. I can speak three languages. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a skill. Teach. Um, what? Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's a skill. I can teach math. That's a skill. I am good with numbers. That's a skill. So now listen to what it says here. Describe a skill that you have that will be important for your success in your modern world. De entrada, yo diría, a skill that I have that is important for success in the modern world is I am good with numbers. Why is the skill good? Why is the skill important? Because numbers will always exist and people need to learn how to use them. Yeah, of course. You know, you know things like that. That's what they want they want you to say. But um but you see Rafael, you have to understand the question. You have to you really really have to understand that. I always tell people if you don't understand the question I promise you the answer is wrong. I okay. could, and how many questions like this will, <laughs> do you know the, uh, or do you have an idea how many questions like this will come? You know, no, I don't because every three years they change. Ah, okay, okay. They change yeah. the methods. That's why I don't like taking the TOEFL. I only taken the TOEFL exam two times in my life. Oh my God. Yeah, I think that but, the challenge for us is timing sorry. because timing, uh huh. For everything, not only for reading or listening or speaking. If if you think if you think timing is a challenge, then think, remember what I told you? Kiss, keep it simple and stupid. Mm -hmm. Give a stupid example. Example P 15 seconds that what a skill I have an ability. While you're thinking of a good answer, that's I used to find on the 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So think simple and stupid. Bailar. Dance. 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 Uh-huh. And maybe, maybe you're just inventing. So you can mm -hmm. say, ah, oh, a skill that I have is um is important for success in the modern world is dancing. And um, this is why is dancing important? Because I can go to any country and maybe I don't speak the language, but when you dance, it's it's a universal language. <laughs> yeah, you know, just yeah. give give like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't give a a presentation. Just give a simple answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let, let me tell you one example. Um, I remember one time in an interview in Dell, por cierto, the, the gringo, he gave me a rock. He went outside and he had a rock. And he told me, sell me this rock. The classical question. <laughs> sell uh <-huh>. me these. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I was thinking, hmm, automatically I was thinking the importance of having a rock, blah, blah, blah. So I, I, I use my teaching techniques and I thought of something stupid. For example, First, why would somebody want to buy a rock? And I said, okay. So I remember I told him, okay, do you see this rock? Yes. It's not only a rock. Do you live in El Salvador? Yes. Okay, this rock in El Salvador, we use it for many things. For an ornament to hold the door. And I remember I stood up and I put it on the door. Para tranca. <laughs> and he started laughing. And, you know, El Salvador, sometimes it's a little dangerous, so you can also use it for protection. And he just started laughing. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, you know. I was thinking of, you know, oh, I said, creo que le mencioné. You can throw it at a dog. You know, like, hey, cha, cha, you know. So the rocks have many use in El Salvador, so I recommend you to have one. If you don't have a rock, you need one. And I remember he told me, you know what? I'm going to take this rock to my house. You gave me good ideas. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, because if I if I if I stop and think, well, you know, the rocks are very important because uh, in history, you know, I didn't know anything about rocks. So that's what I tell you. I recommend you just don't complicate yourself mm -hmm. and invent something. Something silly, something stupid. If you need, you know, just give them what they want to hear. Bueno, hasta podría decir one skill that I have, and I think it will be important for my success, is I can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. They're not going to tell you, you're crazy. Nobody can see. No, why? interesting. Tell me why. And that's good because now I know where I want to be. <laughs> Yes, so don't get stuck in I, that moment. Yes, David? Can I try another one? Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I am teachable, and that skill is important because in the modern world, everything is changing. And uh, an example is that in the previous pandemic time, we need to change everything that in the form that we do. Mm -hmm. And we need to change the form of teaching, the form of working. And if you not, are not able to learn, you are not able to adapt to the change in the world. For that yeah. reason, I think be teachable is a good skill. Okay, very good, yes. You know, it's like, for example, the Bitcoin. Many people say, no, that's crazy. Right? Many people speak about Bitcoin and they don't know. But all, all I told my friends was, you know what? I imagine it was the same thing when money was physical, then money changed to checks, then money changed to credit cards, to debit cards. And now you can just pay online. And I guess Bitcoin is the next thing. So one thing I know if it's good or not, but I know it will stay. So, you know, just like David said, you have to adapt. We have to adapt to these new changes. And we don't like that. Remember music? Remember the cassette? And then the CD. And then the laser disc. And then now it's like, 
you know, I was like, what? Okay, so this is what I recommend to you. Think of something quick that you have to say, 45 seconds, and um, just read read the keywords. Read the keywords in every in every sentence or every question. Record yourself. Use Bukaru. Okay, now what's next? Writing. You know why I think writing is very difficult for Spanish people? For for people that we speak Spanish? Why? Because one beautiful thing about Spanish is that Como se oye, se escribe y se pronuncia en español. Yes. And in English, no. Example. Un no. U -n -o, u no. Simple. In English, one. O-N-E. What? O-N-E. Ninguno de esos tiene sonido a one. So that, that's why it's difficult to write because for us, it's easy to write. Mm -hmm. Daughter. I think that, mm -hmm. yes. I think that's one of the challenge for, for, I could say American people, but they are not American people. We all are American people. So mm -hmm. I think that North American people they have uh, spelling. What is this? Is issues. No, I mean, uh, tienen concursos de de deletreo. Oh yeah, spelling bees. Spe ah yeah, spelling bees exactly. Because I think that it is it is a challenge also for for them, right? Yes, it is. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. That's why they always say. I, I have you seen those those um those um competitions say like for example cont contestant number 1 please spell suprevela and then they'll say um is this a verb or a noun it's a noun okay can you put it in a sentence yes last night i felt very superfluous now, superfluo, no sé qué es, I'm inventing here. <laughs> si fuera en español, ¿cómo se escribe superfluo? <laughs> no haríamos tantas preguntas. Say, That's easy, exactly. Yeah, S-U-P-E-R-B-L-A, <laughs> superfluo. Because es como lo vimos. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh -huh. so writing is a little bit difficult. Don't worry about that. The best recommendation I can tell you, if you want to learn how to write, Read. Read a lot in English. Because if you read a lot, it's similar in Spanish. Have you ever met somebody who can read but can't write? No. Or vice versa. Oh, I can only write, but I can't read. No, it's impossible. So you learn those two things together. So um, if you want to learn how to write, read. Read books. Read books for children, and then read books for young adults, and then read books for adults. And then, you know, just keep on upgrading. Okay? Okay. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you for joining the class. What happened? You came from work today? Did you just did you just come from work? No, I just went in the the gym. Oh, you went to the gym. Cool. I worked just uh, until twelve. Mm -hmm. You know, I bought I bought a walker a, a treadmill machine. No, no yet. 
No, do you know the treadmill machines? No. Treadmill. I think they're similar in Spanish. Treadmill. The machines where you walk or run. No, I haven't seen. Carla, you go to the gym, correct? Yeah. You have never been on a machine where you walk. Yes, I work in a lot of machines. For example, when when I wore the cardio the leg. Okay. Do you, do you know that machine where you walk? Mm, hammer. Okay, there's a machine that you stand and you walk. ¿Cómo uh, se llama? Huh? Caminadora. Exactly, but yes. <laughs> okay, in okay. English. No, pero si se quiere ya oído que le dicen treadmill. Okay, but those are called treadmill. So one day, one day I was passing by Metro Centro. And you know those casas de empeño? They had a they had a machine on a caminadora, but they had the nice one, the one that cost like one thousand dollars. And I look at it, and I look at it. Aha, uh -huh, y decía three hundred. And I said, "Oh, you think la prima? How much is this? Three hundred dollars? What? Yeah, nice. Aha, uh -huh, so he said three hundred dollars." Si quiere la reserva and you pay it in three months, no interest, really? Prevela, está en caja y todo, really? Yes, I think that it's better to go to the gym. No, I, I bought it. Well, it's better to go to the gym, but sometimes you don't have time. So I bought the machine, I paid it in two months, but it's those beautiful machines, they're nice. And uh, so it was all good. It was, it was working. All good. Yes, Fine. my wife and I, we use it every day. Nice. And one time, I think it was like two weeks ago, we were in Siman, and Siman was, they had a, una venta, they took everything outside, and I saw the exact same machine. Yeah. So, y le digo, ah, how much is this machine? 1,600 con el descuento de quedan 1,215. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. Y se Even. Even. Machine is mm -hmm. elliptic, I think. Which which machine? Elliptic. It's similar to the trail. Treadmill. Elliptic. Uh huh. Yes, it's like a bicycle. Oh yeah. A static. Mm. Yes, I have mm. heard that it's better than la caminadora trail. Well, actually, the caminadora, the one that I have, you can program it para climb. It's like. Para subir cuestas o bajar or, or go straight. Yeah, they have different mm -hmm. uh, works. Yeah, it has different yeah. functions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, I like it because what I do is I get my tablet, I put Netflix and I put a movie and I put it in the trend and I start and doing exercise watch, and watch the movie. Oh, listen to music. Yeah, but I, I prefer to watch a movie because if I listen to music, you know. If I look at the wall, I, I'm, I am looking at the time. Like, ¿cuánto llevo ya? Three minutes? <laughs> you know? well, but, in my case, I don't like to use this machine. Yeah, that's why I recommend you um, take a tablet or a yeah. book. Be, you know. I just use um, around five minutes or ten minutes. No, oh, okay. I, don't no, like. I, I do 30, 45 minutes every day. It's very good, man, when you sweat. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, it feels good. I but that's my that, to... that's my that's my trick. I take I take a tablet and watch a movie. But I prefer to to enter different classes. Mm -hmm. Oh like yeah, there's yoga there's... or dancing, something like that. Oh yeah, no, of course. I mean, the gym would always be better. It's just that unfortunately, I don't have time. <laughs> so, like for example, I I finish work at four. Then I have to go pick up my son, go pick up my wife, come here, eat dinner, and then teach. So, yes, you know, so because I work from home, I do exercise in my lunch hour. Oh, okay. You know, I yeah. do 20, 40 minutes. I do 40 minutes. I eat in 20 minutes and I'm set. So it's cool. But anyways, it, it's, it was a good, it was a good deal. 
because uh, Dennis, I saw that same machine. It cost one thousand six hundred dollars in Siman, and they had it in oferta at one thousand two hundred dollars, and I bought it in three hundred. Yeah, I know. Even the more basic are like four hundred dollars. Yes, it's true. I have. I would like to get one, but yeah, I are very expensive. I used to go to the what is this gym is Be Fit, mm -hmm. and I I love to use uh, for cardio are very effective. Yes, that that type of machine. It so is. whenever you don't use it anymore, call me. I'm not give you the <laughs> maybe two hundred dollar. <laughs> oh sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, and actually, I bought it with that intention. I'm going to buy it and resell it. But you know, I yeah, said, no. maybe someone is gonna give you five hundred dollar fast. Yeah, very but fast. when I started using it, and then my wife started using, it, she says, "No, we're keeping this." Yeah. And plus, that we have a room at the end of the house that is empty, so we put the machine there. So it's cool, you know. You can do yeah. beer and drinking a cold beer and <laughs> and do your exercise. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Be, um, I didn't want to continue because we'll start the writing tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Good night, All right. Everybody. Good night. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye.